This is the Doctor continuing the Red Griffins playthrough. We're about to fight the 4th Regiment of Quadim. 29 enemies. This is going to be absolutely brutal. We're just hoping the flashbang grenades will do something for us. But yeah, I am not liking my odds here. Not, not one bit. You know what? We do need to carry some more drawing knives, just in case. They don't have any assassins, which is about the only good news I can think of here. One of our tanks may die, but that's to be expected to some extent. We've uh, quaffed our potions. We have poisons. Let's get it on. Oh, we have the high ground. That makes a tremendous difference. I don't believe they have Pathfinder. Two, three, eight, they can get there. of them can come up here. I'm gonna seize this terrain. Oh, I gotta change my options. Um, gameplay? Nope. Right? All right. Really? I didn't realize the gunners could even see me from down there. What was the odds? 8%, huh? Seems about right. Yep, as I expect, they're bum rushing. That, uh, those officers of the scimitars are dangerous. We're gonna need nets on them, potentially. But before we advance too much further... Shot on the gunner. Have to hold that flank. They have three officers. Impressive. Umbert walks up, swaps with his long axe, but misses. Our farmhand holds down the left flank.
And we shoot and kill one of the gunners. Companion shoots another arrow into a separate gunner, piercing his side. We unleash a flashbang grenade. Along with a fire grenade. The faster we kill, the better. Our sergeant tries to rally Geralt, but fails. We wait on using adrenaline on Humbert. Our farmhand delivers a simple attack with his uh, scimitar. Geralt's defenses are supremish. Fifty-eight, sixty-eight. Unfortunately, there are quite a lot of these enemies, and they have Backstabber. Better swap to the shield, giving Geralt 76 defense. More than enough, I think. That conscript, uh, having been uh, dazed, is, is sent reeling with a death blow, and sh he should die soon enough from um, the bleed. So we will focus our attacks on a different conscript target. Our companion shoots one of the conscripts, sends another one fleeing. Our bower should be able to take out this gunner. Our noble could die on the right flank, but such is life. Let us kill one of the engineers so the mortars are less of a problem. Our companion shoots two arrows, dropping one of the engineers. Excellent work. Our bower has a clear line to the gunner. A throw of his heavy barbarian javelin kills him, kills the gunner.
Next, he delivers two javelin throws onto one of the conscripts, ripping off his ear and injuring his lung, essentially taking him out of the fight. That conscript is so tired, all it can do is shield wall. One of the officers decides to join the fun. Those conscripts tore through Geralt much faster than I thought possible. Let's wait, we might be able to kill one of the conscripts. Wait for a better opportunity with our cell sword. Frederick needs to give Geralt some support here. But He delivers a great swing of his um, pole arm, injuring or doing, destroying the armor of one of the conscripts. Magnus delivers two rushing attacks with his uh, cleaver, severely injuring a conscript and making him bleed grossly. Believe ourselves that we're gonna continue to pummel the engineer so, I'm going to move up with our Minstrel to rally Geralt. This conscript equipped with the shield is very annoying. If we break his shield, we should be able to kill him much easier next turn, especially with adrenaline. One of the conscripts who flees from a fire but dies to his bleed. They continue to rain down arrows on their engineers.
Hero raises the shield wall. To protect himself. Since he is in a ton of danger. This conscript on the low ground is exhausted and hardly a danger. We're gonna let the officer take some swings at us. We have the high ground. Let us try to free up my um, bower. We've inflicted a lot of injuries on that conscript. Our companion shoots and kills one of the conscripts blocking the way for our bower. And panics another conscript with an arrow. Otherwise we wait for a better opportunity. Bower injures the shoulder of an officer. And it delivers a second um, javelin, almost killing it. This poor officer has an injured shoulder and a pierced side. Their gunners are moving to firing position, which is alarming. Frederick delivers a blow, stripping off the head armor of a conscript. It swaps to his Sham, uh, Shamir and waits for a better opportunity. Magnus delivers two blows to a conscript and then ends his turn immediately. There's an officer here who may be a problem. Officer with the scimitar, very dangerous. We throw a net onto the officer. Several of their men are dying. Our hunter swaps to bundle of heavy javelins and kills another conscript. Frederick attacks with his Shamshir. Do we know real damage?
Girl is still in danger. Allowing these gunners to repeatedly fire is a very, very dangerous proposition. But we may not have much choice. Geralt will be safest where he is as far as you can be safe during these times. You will shield wall and then make a single attack. One of the officers is near death. Perhaps killing him might cause some morale problems, so we go ahead and deliver that blow. But alas, it did not cause more morale breaks. Our n nomad with his uh, death blow finishes off the second officer as well. But the enemy gunners continue to fire their handguns with no fear. We endure a punishing round of attacks. First we kill the engineer, ensuring that there will be no more mortars coming our way. Then we swap to a long axe and strips off all, most of the armor of a conscript. Many of our men are shell shocked. But we have a clear line of sight to the gunner, which is too good of an opportunity to pass up. We cannot allow those gunners to keep firing. I'm going to wait with my hunter because I do not see any more soldiers they're willing to send up front. My archer, we shoot and kill one of the gunners. There's only one more remaining. Then we attempt to break another gunner with some more arrow fire, or not gunner, a conscript, but we fail. On the left we and right, our battle forge tanks are doing their job holding the line.
Frederick waits for an opportunity before attacking. Magnus, his armor is almost gone. But he has enough to deal with this conscript. Although he misses. Conscript stripped off all of the armor of Frederick. Our minstrel swaps to the banner. And just ends his turn in case he needs to do something. Officers are missing, which is good. Humbert moves up. Crushes the shield of a conscript. And then prepares for next turn. By swapping to his great axe. Continue to hold the flanks. Our hunter panics one of the conscripts, then delivers a javelin into the armor of another one. Frederick swaps to the sicko of the morning. Umber cleaves one of the um, conscripts with his barbarian great axe, then swaps to the long axe, but misses the pole hammer conscript. Geralt recovers. Nomad moves up and attacks one of the gunners. Frederick takes a big hit from a pole hammer. Our hunter may need to prepare a shield bash, but not yet. Panion shoots and kills uh, one of the conscripts. And now we have the ability to headshot one more. Our cell sword uh, cuts the Achilles tendon of one of these conscripts and then moves in in preparation for using his sword to finish off the hapless enemy. Our bower waits for a better opportunity. We may need to net the officer, it's unclear yet. Officer misses Geralt, which is excellent news. 
Redrick is severely injured. But we wait for the conscripts to run. Magnus will actually... Yeah, Magnus will wait. Our farmhand delivers two attacks with his uh, famed Shamshir, the bloody arch blade, cutting the artery of one of the conscripts. Some conscripts attempt to flee. One is cut down and the other injured. Hunter swaps a throwing axe to try to finish off one of the conscripts. Our bower kills uh, another conscript with a mighty throw of his javelin. trouble sooner or later that officer is gonna breach but for now we wait a nut could accomplish something here. Might force the officer to waste his time breaking out a net. Frederick swings his uh, blade, stripping out the rest of the armor of one of the remaining conscripts. Magnus recovers and swaps to a whip. Yarrow cuts the arm sinew of one of the remaining conscripts and shield walls. Our nomad attacks and kills a gunner. and waits. The remaining conscripts are attempting to flee. Taking some more armor hits. Magnus is not in a great shape. So we will let the conscript flee. Our hunter hurls his throwing axe, killing one of the last conscripts. Sal sword with his blade finish off the remaining conscript despite a nasty hit. Then moves up. Swaps the axe and delivers another nasty blow. Some of the conscripts are attempting to flee, but this is an acceptable outcome.
our bower moves down and then just swaps to a sword rather than throw his javelin with dubious results. This last conscript is in dire trouble. So our noble swings twice, hitting once. Hmm, but he's still got fighting him. Our farmhand finishes off one of the conscripts, and the other one is severely injured. Humbert recovers in preparation for daggering down this officer, who spends his time trying to break out the net as we had hoped. Perfect. Magnus moves up and disarms that officer. Frederick moves up to assist with killing that conscript. And two of the remaining enemies are attempting to flee, but that is an acceptable outcome. Swaps to the deadly splinter and delivers a pierced side to this officer. Our hunter moves over to support. Frederick takes off the head armor of one of the conscripts. Humbert leaps up to try to stab the officer, but no such luck. Our cell sword finishes off one of the last conscripts still engaged. And our farmhand delivers two more blows. The last officer is so tired he can only recover, which is what we want. And he is again disarmed. Covering pr preparation for daggering down this uh, officer next turn. Frederick lops off the head of the last conscript that's still engaged. Humbert delivers two crippling injuries with his dagger. The officer attempts but fails to break out of his net. Our nomad wipes out the last uh, officer. And all the enemies left are fleeing the field. Thanks to our elevation advantage, we have beaten this batch of um, southerners with no losses. We even got ourselves a nice piece of southern uh, armor. That was not the last group. There is one more group. Hmm.
That's a conundrum. Significant amount of our armor is quite damaged, but not necessarily so damaged that we can't fight. Hmm. Although Garrot's armor is completely wrecked. Which is much more concerning. We are also out of grenades. It depends on how tough the last group is. still be able to get some high rows on resolve let us see if we can find a last group Perhaps they're near the mountains. Hmm, perhaps not. It's possible they'll attack from a different direction. Alright, let's head on north to Grunstead. It's also possible we may get some reinforcements. Perhaps one of the local patrols will help us out. We are given some time to patch up our wounds, which is good. And Grunstead has many contracts, so we are coming here soon. But we can craft more fire pots. Yes, those will come in very handy. Otherwise, this is a good opportunity to unload a lot of our goods. 